here's another video on more planned advanced of the lesson in Swedish e-bike battery. In here in Sweden we have a large company called Biltema and they are on the forefront of planned of the lessons in Sweden. This is a battery who we don't know who manufactures, all it says is MBP and MPS. MPS. If you have any information about this battery let us know. Some components we rec recognize from other batteries, but we don't know which company manufactures these with planned obsolescence. I've had several electronics experts reach out to me in my Swedish videos and tell me how the planned obsolescence works and possible works around. Uh, this one has a software fuse and it's this component. It's connected via battery plus and the four MOSFETs. And the, the BMS can manually trigger the software fuse to blow and then power cannot flow from battery plus to the MOSFETs meaning no discharging and no charging and the battery acts like it's completely dead and we've seen this on so many batteries we managed to fix a workaround I did that in my Swedish channel and today I'm gonna try and do a workaround on the English ones let us first see uh, that we have planned up the lessons here first we need to hold in this button to see if it wanna start I think I turn it off, hold it for like 3 seconds and it's just flashing this one meaning some kind of error. So let's see if we have any power output. We have less than 1 volts. Let's measure the battery voltage 38.75 and just one cell 3.88 so we have no unbalance. Here's battery positive and we can measure with P negative and it's letting power through the B negative this BMS is actually controlling uh, maybe both the battery negative and the positive both ones go through the board uh, but this, this one goes via software fuse that is blown we can check continuity of the fuse here we have battery plus let's see if it's connected properly Yes, it's connected to this side. On the other side here is the output of the fuse. And here we have nothing. Here we have the terminal that is controlling uh, the fuse. And it has a resistor in here, so the signal is... Um, uh, but when it sends a message, or like 5 volts to this one, the fuse blows and the battery isn't working anymore. Uh, replacing the fuse is possible, however we do not uh, replace surface mounted components. We do not have the tool for that. Uh, so we will bypass it and since I'm assuming the full uh, voltage of the battery is going through there I'm gonna use thick wires let's just first check if it wants to charge uh, it doesn't have any voltage at all it has the same port for charging and discharging and they are connected here this is a bit fancy smancy charger it has three LEDs and blue is idle red is charging and green is completely charged and as you can see, it does not even recognize that we connected it because it thinks the battery is dead, but it's just playing dead. This is an 18 AVD, but it's copper, so it um, can handle as much current as the 16 AVD poor quality aluminium wires. And it's very difficult to solder on the side here, there's almost no room. And I have too big a tool. So let's double check that that one is corrected properly. First we will check if there's a short circuit with this in signal. Uh, it is directly connected inside the fuse with the resistor so you will get some resistance. And let's check that it's connected with one of the legs and wire. Yeah it's correct connected but it's not yet corrected to battery positive. Uh, it's, since it's difficult to connect something to this side, uh, we will connect it directly to battery positive. Let's see that we bypass diffused. 
yes and as i said in my swedish video you should absolutely not solder on wires on the bms and bypass the bms uh, but here we are not bypassing the full bms just connecting battery positive to battery uh, to power positive we are connecting it we are bypassing the fuse not the whole uh, all the security features so it will still shut off at low cell voltage and at high cell voltage now all of the leds are shining up like it's fully charged let's measure the voltage over here we have 38.74 which is the same voltage 38.74 so now it should be able to charge and also run on the e-bike yes and it turns on charging uh, so we bypassed the software fuse uh, but no other of uh, the security components from what I can tell and um, this is just uh, a test for now to see to verify that it's possible to bypass I would really like your input on uh, is this safe am i using thick enough wires i'm also going to solder a fuse on here so it actually has a fuse between between battery positive and the mosfets and is there anything else you should think about uh, i've seen this component for sale it's like, kind of hard to come by uh, but it is possible to order and replace but then you then you are giving the bms the power to any time it wants blow this fuse by the software and get you stranded on your e-bike by by bypassing the fuse you remove the option for the bms to shut down the e-bike by planned obsolescence i don't know if um, it will do this again in five years or if it will start doing it every year or every day but all it has to do is to send a signal to this fuse and blows it so we have bypassed that fuse completely so it does not have the functionality to play dead that's it please tell me in the comments what you think about this and if you have any better solutions our solutions is usually to replace the full bms uh, but then we can't connect the indicator and some people love their little indicator and on off switch and that's of course a little bit expensive this we can do cheaper and this you can probably do yourself